What's going on people? Welcome back to Trial Talk. I hope you're all doing good. Hope you're well. So today I'm going to look at bookkeeping and it's going to be a really quick guide for those of you that have set up self-employed. You might be setting up your own small plastering business and you're just looking for something real quick that you can get in place that's going to give you a good visual and give you a good insight, but it's going to help you look at if you're earning money and whether you're on target with your profit. It's a real simple system that I used to use when I first started up in my first few years. And I'm hoping that will help you out. I've had a message from somebody called uh, David Allen, who's one of the YouTube subscribers, who left a comment saying, look, um, I'm really struggling with my bookkeeping. Is there anything that you can uh, help us with? So again, I'm not an accountant and this isn't going to be going in real deep into your books it's not going to include your indirect costs so it's not going to include things like your accountant fees your phone bills um your insurances um stock that you might have bought and things like that it's not going to include any of your indirect costs okay that's going to be a separate video that i'll do this video it's just a real quick thing you can do you can do this on the back of a fag packet guys and it's just going to be your direct costs that we're going to be looking at today. It's a five minute thing that you can do. Anyone can do it. I mean, these days you've got loads and loads of apps and things like that that you can use um, if you want a more advanced system. But this is just something really simple. Um, let's get stuck in and I'll, I'll run you through it. OK, guys. So, again, this is just a quick way that you can log your jobs, um, keep track of your customers and just to check to see whether you're making profit on your jobs. OK, so a real quick, simple way. Um, just to get you started, just to get you going, if you've just started up. So what we're going to do, we're going to knock up six columns, and ideally you'd want um, you'd want a column pad that you can pick up from the stationery shop or, or eBay. You want um, a column pad with six columns minimum, and the idea is to include, so the first thing you're going to include is the date, okay? Then you want your job details. All right then we're going to look at the price so this is the price that you've put in the price that you've quoted to the customer all right next column materials yeah labor um tell you what we'll do seven columns because we'll stick some fuel in as well these are going to be your direct costs and then your profit at the end. You can tweak, change and add and remove things. Whatever suits you. This is just what I do. This is just something I sometimes still do. But I did it a lot when I, when I first started up. And it really helped me to track my books, um, get a hold of my bookkeeping, keep a track of my customers. And it helped me to, when you flick through and you look back on this as well, it helps you to see which jobs were you on the mark with when you were pricing and which jobs were you, did you go too cheap and things like that and which jobs were profitable okay so i've just knocked up seven columns you can do more or less again this is direct cost guys it doesn't include anything like your insurances um your stock uh you know your telephone bills and all that sort of stuff your accountant fees it doesn't include any of that doesn't include vehicle maintenance mot's um van insurance tools nothing like that okay this is your direct cost per job so we'll go into bookkeeping deeper in the future on other videos where we can look at um, those other things i've mentioned but for today in this video five minute bookkeeping it's just for you guys to uh to track your jobs okay so does what it says on the tin so you're going to put the date on each job okay in your job details stick in your customer's name and address all right and their telephone number and job details and a little description of what you're doing in the job yeah then your price obviously that's where you've put your price in your quote and then your direct material so whatever you've used for the job how much sand and cement you've used, how many bags of plaster, how much PVA, how many beads, how, many, how much scrim, um, how many drywall screws, how many plaster boards have you used. And it can be um, 
a ballpark figure but the more accurate the better really guys and it will help you to to uh, see the woods for the trees when you're looking at your profit margin the labor if you're um you know one man mercenary then it's just yourself whatever your um labor is so it's basically how many days have you thrown at this job how many days have you been on the job okay so you put how many days you've been in there if it's you and a, another lad or you and a couple of other lads you include the labor costs for them in there and then how much fuel have you used for that job okay because i mean i've just done one where i'm going from coventry to stratford upon avon and i'm putting 100 quid a week in the fucking tank um and the job's two weeks long so there's a little example because if you don't include these things it's easy to um it's easy for some of these things to slip when you're doing so many small jobs so put a put a rough cost of how much fuel that any particular jobs costed you and what this will do okay you'll put all this against your price all right you'll look at how many days you've thrown at it and what your direct costs were and then you can work out your profit you see and as the weeks and the months pass you'll be able to flick through this little uh, six column sheet that you've made um, and you'll be able to get a good insight into what jobs are working out for you and what jobs need work what where have you uh, underpriced and which jobs are the most profitable you can go back to your job description your job details and you can see um you know is it the rendering where you're making the most money or is it these small domestic reskims you know and you can you can uh fine tune uh, your marketing to suit whatever jobs are most profitable to you so anyway listen david i hope that's helped you mate there's no bells and whistles on this okay this is just something you can knock up yourself um you don't need any specialist uh, accountancy skills it's just common sense six or seven columns um it does take a bit of self-discipline to sit down and do this every time you've finished a job or midway through a job or every time you've been into the merchants to get some materials it does take a little bit of discipline to keep them receipts to hand and then go through the quicker you do it the better so as soon as you've picked up the gear it's just take a little um, time to put those receipts to one side or even what i sometimes do take a picture of the receipt fire it off to the receipt bank which is what i do now with my accountant and that way you can look back and you can link the receipts to the jobs but it's best to stay on the ball and try and do it as the job's moving along rather than trying to do it once the job's finished a few days later, which is harder then because then you've got to try and backpedal and find the receipts and cast your mind back to how many days were you on it and you might get that wrong. So try to be on the ball. Try to log your jobs and track your jobs as the jobs are moving along and catch that information in, in real time. So anyway, Dave, I hope this has helped. Um, have you got any tips on bookkeeping? What's helped you? Let me know in the comments. And again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Appreciate the subscribers, which are now building up. And um, again, I'll do more videos on this kind of stuff in the future, but I hope that's helped. See you next week. Cheers, guys.